God, yes, the Holy Spirit is the best friend you can have. He is the one that can help you have a glorious year. The Holy Spirit is the one that can lead you into a glorious year. Remember, we're looking at an introduction of the Holy Spirit. So we're still going to be asking ourselves, who is the Holy Spirit? Um, Yesterday, we said the Holy Spirit was in the Old Testament. He didn't just show up after Jesus died. The difference here is that he was with the people in the Old Testament. When Jesus died, the Holy Spirit now came and was in the people. That's the difference. But he was available. He was always around from the beginning. Now, who is the Holy Spirit? He is the third person of the Godhead. He is the one that is right here, right now, helping you and I to be Christians. It's only by the Holy Spirit that you can say, I'm a child of God. The Spirit of God is the guarantee, is the one that makes you call Father God, Abba Father. Without the Holy Spirit, you are not a child of God. Without the Holy Spirit living inside and dwelling in you, you're not a child of God. The Bible make you and I to understand the book of Romans that um, is the spirit of God within us that has made us heirs and joined heirs with Christ. So without the Holy Spirit, there is no promise of sonship. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no promise of being an heir of God. The Bible even also says that Christ in you or Christ in me, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ is not Jesus' last name. Christ is the anointing of God and the anointed one and his anointing, meaning the Holy Spirit of God, the one that is upon us and that's tangible that other people can feel, see and partake of is what will make you and I have a glorious year. Christ in you, Christ in me, the, the hope of glory. That's the only way you can have a glorious 2018. What are we saying? We're explaining, we're defining, we're exposing the Holy Spirit. And remember the reason why we're doing this is because daddy said that if we want to have a glorious year, we need to know about the angels. We need to know the angels, know how to function, right? Commission them. And also to know the Holy Spirit. Now, our prayer here for Build for Global Impact is not that you just get this knowledge about the Holy Spirit. Our desire is that you get to know Him. You get to know the Holy Spirit. Knowing in the in the sense here is not knowledge of the, your head. Our desire is that with this teaching, as we expose Him, your hunger and us to get to work with him will rise will be rising to a point where even before we go meet with these teachings you will be uh, uh the, you have you make him your best friend if he's not yet your best friend you will make him your best friend amen yes he is very friendly I'm telling you, the best person you want to have as a friend is the Holy Spirit. Now, if you're a child of God listening to me, there's something I want us to talk about clearly before we go ahead. It's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Now, read when you read John chapter 14, you will see that clearly that the Holy Spirit has been sent not to convict a child of God. It's sent to convict the world about what? Sin, righteousness, and judgment. It's not to a child of God. What does he do? What is the ministry of the Holy Spirit to a child of God? It's to lead you. It's to comfort you. It's to show you, reveal to you things to come. He is in us to show us the truth. Amen. Have you been talking with someone and the person is talking to you, but you're hearing as, I mean, completely something else? Because the spirit of God in you is a revealing spirit. And at that time, if you're not matured, you can interrupt what he's telling you and tell the person you're lying. When you do that, you, you're now not walking in love, right? Because the spirit of God will walk with you and interact with you as you yield yourself to him and as you choose to walk in love. Amen. So that's, that's an introduction. I think maybe the whole this week will just be exposing the Holy Spirit before we go into looking deeply into how he will help you to have a, a glorious year. Amen. That's who the Holy Spirit is. Please love him. Talk with him. He likes talking. When he speaks to you, respond to him. Amen. Talk back with him. In Jesus name. 
Amen. Amen.